hi guys uh, it's Tony from Tony's allotment to you again and today uh, we're just going to do a quick update of what we've been doing as you can see this plot is now clear of everything the sheds have been moved they've just put up been put on the site for the moment which is going to allow us to build them I just need to build a platform here with the wooden pallets that are over there um, we've got a meeting on Sunday and all this rubbish that's, uh, as you can see up here um, is all going to be moved because obviously that's on the plots next to mine and people are just dumping it so uh, they're going to be told that's going to be moved off their plots um, they've had to put a few drainage ditches in as you can see um, and now all the water's drained off so this plot is now ready to go we can work on it now um, if I come out you'll see that I've put in a path right up here from from where I come onto the plot um, which is going to help cut down the weeds and things like that uh, around the beds here excuse the sunlight uh, we've got one of the sheds that are piled up and this one here is a little bit rotten but we're going to use the timber off that to repair any rotten parts on this one okay so we're coming up the path now and as you can see all the beds are now dug over there's compost added and things like that so we'll have a little wander around this bed here we've started um, preparing this for carrots and parsnips and it's a good friable soil this is the stuff that's come out of those used tomato bags um, it's really nice granted all the nutrients won't be in there however the um, you know the soil itself will be perfect for just for carrots and parsnips they don't need a huge amount of nutrients we are going to be moving the strawberries from these beds and along the bottom down there by the wheelbarrow is going to be uh, like a tiered bed and the strawberries are going to go in that so up here this is the old bean king um, we've got compost sat on top of that which has got to be dug in sorry it's uh, horse manure uh, again all of these beds now have been stripped out we've got to lay slabs now around the rest of these there's some onions growing there and here this area has been churned over a little bit and all the compost added now I don't know if you'll see this but um, we've had to empty the compost bins because this is a uh, the new compost we got started and that one is full as well so um, we had to empty one of the bins obviously all the char that we had in this bed is now gone and this horse manure was thrown on top of that and that'll be dug in very shortly but it's already been weeded so it's just a case of digging that in again likewise with that bed it's been dug over ready for more horse manure but we need to get some more done this bed's also been dug over and there's horse manure dumped on top and again that'll be dug in shortly likewise with that one up there here where the peas were um, we've uh, put in a couple of paths either side so now the peas can grow up their netting and uh, won't be a problem likewise with the bean section here again it's all compost uh, all horse manure dug in here and again we've put a path either side of it just to make life a little easier for us um, as we go and eventually when we can when we can find it we will uh, put um, paths right around these plots but later on I'm going to give you the dimensions for the plot um, but again look another path horse manure all over this bed this is going to possibly be our gourd bed we haven't decided yet um, whether it's going to be this one or this one um, that one at the moment's got all sorts of timber and stuff like that dumped in there and the windows and stuff have moved because of the sheds are in in the place but you know it's not it's not a major issue at the moment we're, we're still only on the sort of 19th of February so uh, it's not a problem 
we uh, obviously got the poly tunnel there still haven't done anything with that at the moment for the simple reason being is I want to get in there and get stuff done but I need to get this plot up here turned over and flattened out um, so that we can get the spuds in and start building the new poly tunnel so this is the plot at the moment we've done a fair bit of work since you were last year um, like I said all the beds have been turned over there's paths in in certain areas um, the rest of it for this year will be bark chip again uh, as and when we get more slabs we've still got a load here but we want some of them for in the poly tunnel I've marked off the plot um, we've taken all the rubbish off it and all that's gone down the tip uh, as you can see it's it's everything's gone now um, so that it's a bit dark because of the sun but you can see just how big this plot is and I'm going to put the dimensions on um, I'll, ha I'll add a little sort of text or something along here to give you the, the full dimensions of the plot um, as it stands now but again you know we gonna have another shed here which is gonna be that that one down there and uh, give you some sort of idea corner to corner it's a fair old size plot um, it's a treble plot these dirty people over here I'm gonna point them out because I think it's absolutely disgusting keep dumping nappies in nappy sacks over here and I'm gonna give you I'm gonna show you um, I've cleaned them all off this plot but we should get environmental health up to see them because it's absolutely ridiculous living in the um, the plot is behind the council estate but as you can see there are bags and bags of nappies there's one there there's another one there there's one there they're even hanging on my plot here they're even hanging full of shit off the fence and stuff like that and I think it's absolutely disgusting so uh, I think a call to environmental health uh, is required because we have children that come up here and uh, and it's not all that they're throwing feces in bags and stuff over the plot um, so those are the type of things we have to deal with here um, but all being said and done the plots are now starting to look good you know it's now starting to look ready these beds for all intents and purposes are ready we can start getting things in the ground when the weather warms up um, the that bed down there will have an, a netting uh, for brassicas um, but you know we're getting there slowly um, we are going to do a few more videos um, of the poly tunnel and the shed uh, and as you can see guys um, the slabs are slowly disappearing um, we do have another 80 to collect you see the ducks in the corner down there so eventually all of this area as well will be cleaned up and uh, we'll have a, a decent plot and it'll all be done and next year it'll be should be relatively easy to get on with things anyway uh, sorry about the length of the video uh, if you've got any questions uh, don't hesitate to give us a shout and also please subscribe to us comment and rate us uh, we'd be uh, chuffed to bits if uh, you know we can start getting some subscribers anyway thanks and we'll speak to you again shortly